Where the first humans came from, and when they first set foot in North America, has fascinated researchers for generations. The debate still rattles through universities and museums, but a recent breakthrough in Oregon has shifted the conversation entirely. A discovery that pushes human presence in the Americas thousands of years further back than anyone expected. In the dry, rugged desert of central Oregon, a shallow rock shelter called Rimrock Draw has become the center of intense archaeological attention. What scientists uncovered here has shaken the timeline of early human settlement. This site now appears to be the oldest known human-occupied location in North America, older than any previously confirmed discovery. Excavations at Rimrock Draw began in 2011, when archaeologists turned their attention to a modest cave just outside the quiet town of Riley. Surface clues had hinted that the place held secrets, but no one realized how deep those secrets went until digging began. A team from the University of Oregon's Museum of Natural and Cultural History led the project, using advanced tools and careful technique to protect every fragile layer of history. Slowly, the site began to reveal a story. Ancient animal remains, handcrafted stone tools, and weapons made from rare materials. Each find added another piece to a very old puzzle. For decades, scientists believed the first Americans belonged to the Clovis culture, arriving about 13,000 years ago from Siberia by crossing the Bering Land Bridge. The old theory claimed they traveled through an ice-free corridor that opened between massive glaciers. But new research challenged that idea. Studies show the corridor didn't fully open, or become livable, until 11,000 to 12,000 years ago, which makes it nearly impossible for the Clovis people to have used it to populate the continent. More early sites soon added pressure to the debate. Meadowcroft Rock Shelter in Pennsylvania revealed artifacts at least 16,000 years old. Cooper's Ferry in Idaho produced similar dates. Both suggested humans arrived long before the ice corridor existed, hinting they reached the Americas by traveling along the Pacific coast, following a route now known as the Kelp Highway, and then came Rimrock Draw, and everything changed. The first shocking find was a set of camel jaw and tooth fragments. Yes, camels. Few people know that camels actually evolved in North America before moving to Asia and Africa, later disappearing from this continent entirely. These remains belong into Camelops hesternus, the yesterday's camel. Nothing like modern desert camels. These giants stood nearly seven feet tall and weighed around 1,800 pounds. But the real surprise wasn't the animal itself. It was the evidence that humans had butchered it. Cut marks on the teeth and jaw, along with stone tools found right beside them, suggested a deliberate kill, not an animal that wandered into a cave and died. And then came the detail that made the discovery unshakable. The camel remains were buried beneath a layer of volcanic ash. In archaeology, volcanic ash is a time machine. Each eruption leaves behind ash with a unique chemical signature, a perfect timestamp. This layer came from an ancient eruption of Mount St. Helens, locking the camel and the humans who butchered it firmly into a deep, prehistoric chapter of North American history. This wasn't ash from the famous 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens. It came from a far older and far more violent event, the Set S eruption, which occurred more than 15,600 years ago. Now the science of dating took over. Geologists and geochemists ran radiocarbon tests on the camel's tooth enamel. The results were astonishing. The enamel returned a date of roughly 18,250 years before present. And before present, or BP, is important. Instead of counting backward from today, scientists used the year 1950 as the baseline, the point before atomic testing altered global carbon 14 levels. So 18,250 BP means the camel tooth is even older than the number might first suggest. But the camel wasn't the only clue. Archaeologists also uncovered finely made stone scrapers crafted from orange agate, a detail that immediately stood out. Agate was prized because it fractures like glass, producing razor-sharp cutting edges. Even more telling, this type of orange agate doesn't naturally occur in the basalt surrounding the shelter. It had to be carried in from somewhere else. That means early humans were either traveling long distances to find high-quality material or trading for it. Either way, it points to planning, mobility, and knowledge of valuable resources. One of these agate scrapers underwent a protein residue test, a method that detects microscopic traces trapped in tiny cracks in the stone. The results revealed bison blood. This was the smoking gun. Proteins can survive thousands of years when they're sealed inside stone microfissures, safe from sunlight and bacteria. And the presence of bison residue ties the tool to bison antiquus, the massive Ice Age predecessor of today's buffalo. Later, another scraper was found buried even deeper in the ash. This supported the idea that humans were living in the shelter long before the volcanic eruption, long before the camel remains themselves. The choice of rare orange agate shows not just skill, but consistency. These people didn't just pass through. They stayed long enough to experiment with materials, seek out the best sources, and return to them repeatedly. This behavior suggests long-term occupation, not a brief visit, which leads to an even more dramatic conclusion. Humans were living in Oregon at the very peak of the last glacial maximum, a time when ice sheets were at their greatest extent. Ocean levels were hundreds of feet lower, and the world was locked in ice. And in that frozen world, people were hunting camels and bison at Rimrock Draw 18,000 years ago, 
because the tools were dug up from even deeper layers than the camel remains. The sediment profile, the stratigraphy, shows they are older still. This is the law of superposition. In undisturbed soil, the deepest layers are always the oldest. All of this means one thing. Rimrock Draw Rock Shelter is, right now, the oldest known human occupation site in North America, beating the Clovis culture by more than 5,000 years. Some archaeologists working at Rimrock Draw believe the site may be even older than current evidence suggests, possibly far older. At present, the key date of 18,250 BP comes solely from a camel tooth, but that tooth was found above the deepest human-made tools. This means it cannot represent the earliest moment of human activity at the shelter. In archaeology, when a date is derived from an animal bone rather than a directly tested tool or hearth, it serves only as a minimum age, a not younger than marker. Simply put, if the camel was already there 18,250 years ago, then anything buried beneath it must have been left earlier. This opens the possibility that humans were using rimrock draw close to 20,000 years ago, perhaps even before. As researchers continue dating the deepest artifacts, especially tools preserving protein residues, like bison traces, our understanding of early American history will sharpen with every new layer uncovered. The excavation is still ongoing, and the greatest prize remains ahead. A clear, undeniable answer to one of humanity's oldest mysteries, who were the first Americans, and when did they truly step onto this continent and call it home?